Yeah, it's good to set the tone early this season with a win and a close game, you know. Like you said, last year we lost a lot of those. And it's uh, it's good to start, you know, the first game, the all the field renovations and a great atmosphere. And it's, it's, it's just a good thing for the whole program to start out with a win like that. And it's even better in a close game that we could pull it out. They put up a lot of a lot of offense in the second half, but that last possession when you guys would have needed a three and out, uh, that's when it went down there. Yeah, we, we really had to gear down there. We had a lot of guys that were tired and played a lot of snaps and, you know, were cramping up and stuff. But we dug down and, and we got the stop when we needed it. We didn't have a great day today, but when it counted in the fourth quarter, we came through. So that's positive. Can you talk a little bit more about the atmosphere? How much different was it playing at night and under the lights and with a few more people there? It was awesome. I mean, it was – It last time I played, you know, at a night game like that was like a high school playoff game or something because that's how it is. And it was crazy. There was tons of students there, the people sitting on the hills, you know. Everyone uh, came out and huge crowd, intense. And it was just an awesome, fun atmosphere to play in. You know, I like playing – the noon games and stuff, but the seven o'clock was really neat. That's that's something that we're really going to enjoy this year. I know in their first game they really did a lot on the ground. It seemed like they kind of went at you guys through the air at least offensively. Yeah, um, I think we we did a pretty good job of shutting them down in the middle early on. So they they started spreading us out. And they got it. They hit us with a couple big plays, but uh, yeah, they they uh, they just adapted their game plan from week one against Hillsdale, and they thought that that's how they could beat us but you know in the end we we got got a little bit of an upper hand there and came through with it I mean you guys have young guys new guys on defense is it a thing where you kind of expect a lot of improvement week to week as you guys get to know each other and, and playing with each other yeah I mean a lot a lot of these guys have experience but not necessarily as starters it's a new role for them and uh you know they're going to come into their own each week and get more comfortable and uh I think that's going to help us as a defense you know, getting to know each other, how we play. And, I mean, we had a month to prepare for the season, but nothing, nothing's the same as a game. You can't simulate that. So uh, just the experience and, you know, working together and, you know, seeing different teams and different looks is going to help us get better throughout the year. So I guess, first of all, after, I mean, you guys lost too many close games last year, and I kind of turned the table as you got a close win of your own. Certainly. That, that was the biggest goal for us is, uh, was to just come out and start the season 1-0 and uh, start it on the right, right foot. How much different was this offense? It seemed like you were kind of more showcased as a passer this year. Uh, right. Obviously, you less running than last year. Is that the case? Um, I mean, we're just trying to do what the defense gives us, you know. Um, if, if they're giving us pass, we want to pass on them. If they're giving us a run, we want to run. So uh, just trying to play play smart football out there and uh, do what they give us. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of weapons, it seemed like there were a lot of uh, targets for you. I think you passed to like seven different guys. I mean, how much has it helped you? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we've been working all summer. Um, we've got this nice, nice uh, pack with each other. And uh, everyone's doing well. Everyone's doing real well. We've, uh, we've been working really hard. Second half, you guys had stalled a little bit. You hadn't scored. Um, can you tell me about that last drive when you guys finally got a touchdown and went ahead? Um, I, I felt like we were we were taking it down their throats all game. Uh, we got stopped a couple of times in the third quarter, but uh, we came back for that last drive and um, drove it right down and thrashed. My wide receiver made it made a great play, mm -hmm. um, and we were very excited to make that play as well. Um, how much different was the atmosphere? Oh, I love it. Um, I've said it to many people already. Uh, it's it's the best because you're not you don't have to play in the in the morning. It seems like you're playing at night, and um, everyone came out and supported us very well. And it's a fun game. Coach, gotta be nice to see him pull out a close one. Oh, God, I, I tell you, and, and the thing that concerned me the most was, you know, losing another lead mm -hmm. in, in the second half. <clears throat> And, and you know, we, we, it wasn't that we lost momentum; they just made a couple plays, and we didn't make a couple plays. You know, uh, had the interception, but really on an underthrown ball, they stopped us. And, and, and I was contemplating going forward on fourth and one, and then we we just sent the kicker out to see what he can do, and we missed it. But those two opportunities right there, we squandered. But it was great to have our backs against the wall and see what this team is made of, and go right down the field. Big return by Hogue. That was a great effort by him. 
and then the execution leading up to, you know, the final touchdown pass. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you know, John put it out there, and, and Mark Thrash made one heck of a catch. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the other thing I'm, I was impressed with, Kyle, is the way we finished the game. You know, uh, we, we, uh, we stop them. We get the ball back with 3.38 on the clock. They've got all their timeouts, and, and, and we don't punt until there's less than 50 seconds in the game. And, and, you know, and that's a tough situation to be in because you know they're going to bring pressure, but we converted a first down. We ran the clock, and then we, got the, and then we, and then we uh, executed the punt which was key. And obviously, we got a little bit of luck. It hit the kid in the back of the leg, and we got the ball back. We'll take that any day of the week. But just to see us execute in that fourth quarter, that's what we were emphasizing since last December, because that's what we didn't do last season. You told me last week that, I mean, you thought that um, Jennings, Jennings was more as a passer. Uh, was that kind of what you're going for today, or is it more taking what they gave you? I mean, you well, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, a good question, because I think – it was tough to run the football. We got some momentum in that second quarter where it seemed like it was easier. But we, we didn't have that success in the second half pouring it up in there. So really in the second half, when, when it became evident that they had made some adjustments to stop the run with bringing pressure, the only thing we could do at that point was, was devise a scheme that, that would either attack away from the pressure or throw the football. And, that, and that's really what we were trying to do there in that, in that second part of the third quarter. And, and then obviously in the fourth quarter. And it was working. Like I said, if we don't, if we don't underthrow two balls, the pass interference we underthrew, and then, and then the one that was intercepted we underthrew, I thought we had them beat deep. So if we can execute in those situations, you know, it's probably not as close as it was. Mm -hmm. it seemed like they were kind of splitting on you with Rick and all that. Yeah. Well, I, they've got a good offense. Mm -hmm. You know, their quarterback is a player. Uh, he made a lot of plays today. The running back, Stoker's a good player. And then, you know, the, the play that stands out to me is they send their running back down the middle of the field, and he goes up and, and, and with three guys around him and makes that play. Mm -hmm. It's a heck of a play. So, you know, I give them all the credit in, in terms of what they did offensively. They gave us some fits, and you know, but, but as we said in the locker room at the end of the game, when we had to make a play to win that football game, we made it, and that, that was great to see. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to ask about Hope because, I mean, Working on the depth chart, he's listed as wide receiver, and it seems like he's kind of everywhere out there. So. Well, you know, we're, we're using him. Obviously, in our two deep, he's not on it because Brandon Hayes is really the number two at tailback right now. Uh, so, but we really run him with three and four tailbacks. And and then what Tim did, I thought he made two really good runs. One really good run there in the fourth quarter where it didn't look like there was much there, and he ripped it up in there for a big 11-yard gain, got us a first down. I think that was on the winning drive. But the other thing is he set up the dang play, the winning touchdown with, with that big return. Mm -hmm. and, and as I said, I think a lot of it was good blocking, but a ton of it was him making plays, making guys miss, getting to the open field and showing his athletic ability. Mm -hmm. He's a weapon, no question about it. And we've got to, you know, we're in the phase right now where we're using him as a running back, we're using him as a return man, and, uh, you know, we've got to figure out more ways to get him the ball. He's doing a good job. But Ronnie had a good game. I, I thought Ronnie Lark had a good game running the football. <clears throat> um, a lot of different atmosphere with the Cannibal Oh, it? it was an unbelievable atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I'll be honest with you, I told the officials we were going to run our students over the student section. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that was awesome. To see the reaction from Ferris State, you know, was, was a little, uh, made me a little nervous because it looked like we might get penalized for that. But mm -hmm. our fans loved it, the students loved it, and then our players really got energy from it. But the whole atmosphere, the whole game, to see the people on the hilltops because there wasn't enough seats for them, uh, to see our side pack like it was, to see the band have to squeeze in there, and then, and then just the, you know, the emotion of the crowd, you, you can't beat it. And, and I think now, uh, you know, all the great teams that have played before us, uh, you know, made their marks. And, and I think the night games and, and, and the, and, and, you know, and just the atmosphere, hopefully it creates, you know, it creates a, a mark for this group of guys, you know, uh, that, that, they can, that they can think is special and build off of. But there's no question that, 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 that tonight's atmosphere was outstanding. It was electric. If we can get that every game. Let me tell you, and, and we have a good chance of getting that every game. Next one's Northwood. I think the, I think the students love being there. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the way they interacted with our players, I thought was awesome. It was a great experience for them. What role did some of those big passes play in your offense? I think you had three or four of them go for more than 40 yards. Well, I'll tell you, the first one that we hit to Janice was a thing of beauty. I, I thought he, uh, he went up and got the ball, and then they couldn't tackle him. Uh, 
obviously, when you can get them in chunks, we lost the turnover battle, but we really evaluate turnovers and big plays together. And, and we feel like if we can have more turnovers and more big plays than the other team, or less turnover, you know, win the turnover battle and, have, and win the big play battle, great chance of winning the game. That was kind of balanced today. We had more big plays. They had more ter- takeaways from us. But, but they, they played a big role, played a huge role. Mark Thrash on that one, it changed field position. You know, we, even though we didn't score, we, that was the one where the field goal was, was wide, you know, that play changed field position. We were on our own 20, and we got the ball and, and gave it back to them on their 20. So, that, you know, that was a big play that changed things. The, the other play, uh, I'll tell you, the other play stands out is one right before the half, Nick Galena. I, you know, he splits the safeties and goes down the middle, and it's not an easy catch, and he goes up and gets the ball. A, a huge play, you know. So the key to Jennings' performance tonight is really the protection. On those plays, he had time to throw it. On the few that he didn't have time to throw it, we didn't execute you know, uh, but but the, but on those big plays, the O line gave them great time. They brought pressure on that last one. They came with with, with the last touchdown pass we threw to Thrash. They came with an all out blitz, and he stood in the pocket. The protection was good, and he and he got the ball out there for him. Coach, last year at this time we were talking about that first game with Cal PA. Um, did that really kind of set the tone in a negative way? And in the same way, can you see the team the opposite? Or it, you know, it, I, it really, uh, it's hard to say. I think that I think the game that was the negative game last year was going to Ferris and losing. I, I think we still felt pretty good about ourselves, even though we lost to Cal by one, because we knew they were a good football team. We knew, you know, we, we hung with them. And, 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 and I think we still had a little bit of confidence, although it was a downer. Uh, but then I think what really shot us last year was, was losing that second game. This we're going to build on. But the thing I cautioned our team about, and, and this is the truth about this league, as you look across the league and examine the scores, just winning one game doesn't mean you're going to win the next one. Mm-hmm. So you got to keep focused on, you got to get focused on the next one. And that's why I told our guys, this is great, great way to start the season. Uh, we, we're one and zero, and being one and zero is better than being zero and one. But now the next one is a new mountain to climb, and we got to attack it the same way we attack this one.